Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at a aquarium from Jellyfish Art. So this company is selling um, basically jellyfish aquarium and tanks for people who aren't experienced with these type of things. Now I've never owned anything um, aquatic other than sea monkeys uh, and that didn't last very long. So. Um, what we've got here is the actual tank portion and as you can see I've taken out the large sponge that's in the back. You should be taking that sponge and you should um, rinse it a couple times, squeeze it out, then let it air dry before you put it back into the back of the um, tank. Now what you're looking at here is everything that's included when you get your kit. So you obviously have the large black container in the middle, which is your aquarium. There are no jellyfish inside, so that is somewhat deceptive there. Um, but you do have, you know, starting on the left and moving counterclockwise, the hydrometer, AC adapter for your LED light, the bio jelly starter or jelly bio starter, your Kimmy Pure Blue Nano uh, packet, and we'll show you where that goes here shortly. Then you have your LED bulb, remote, um, there is like a turkey baster style dropper and we'll show that as well. Your airline, some food, which you don't get unless until you um, redeem your coupon for your jellyfish. Uh, and then the jelly salt and we'll talk about that more as well. So as you can see here I pulled up the big giant 5 gallon container of um, seawater mix from Aquatic Reef Design. Um, to me this is just simpler than um, mixing water manually and then trying to get it right um, with your hydrometer. If you go to a tropical fish store you can get this water and they will um, try their best you know, to get it to the right uh, salinity level that you need it to be. Um, and we'll take a look at that later as well. And then you have your Kimmy Pure Blue Nano, um, which is, I think it's like carbon kind of that you put um, on top of the sponge. Again, uh, this is the remote, which is overkill for the light bulb that's included, but I think you can program like four bulbs on this thing. But anyways, it is included uh, and it does work very well. It's very high quality. So I'm going to take the lid off of this and we're going to go ahead and pour the water into the aquarium. Now what I've done before we've gotten to this point is I've rinsed out the aquarium um, several times um, trying not to, you know, I don't like to touch the acrylic on the front because you can scratch it very easily. So I just decided to um, rinse it out several times and then brought it over here to where you can now see me filling it up um, with the two gallons that it requires uh, for fill. There's a min and max mark on the inside, uh, and I'm taking a look at that now and just going to add a little bit more water. And we're done with that, so I'm going to go ahead and seal that up. So when you do that, there's going to be a lot of bubbles, and you'll see there's a lot of bubbles in here when I'm doing all of this, but you can get those out with the brush later, and I'll do that. So now you're going to take your sponge and just push it down. It's going to start absorbing and soaking up the water. So just push that down back into place here in the back. And then before you get too far, before you um, attach your, I think it's your bubbler or something like that, this that I'm holding, um, you want to put in the little uh, Kimmy Pure um, pack. And because otherwise you're going to have to do like I do here and kind of sneak it under. <clears throat> but you just once you do that, then you're going to drop this hose back down, and this goes to your pump. So all of this fits together very simply. There's no complication here whatsoever. You really can't do it wrong. So I have this back in place, making sure there's no kinks in the tube, making sure the tube isn't going to move, and making sure, making sure it's attached properly. Uh, and you can see how that looks here. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the Kimmy Pure Blue. So when you open this packet, you're going to want to rinse this off. Um, and it's really just rinsing the dust or whatever might still be on it from um, when it came in the package. So I'm just going to rinse this real quick and then we'll put it back into the container here. And it, it's going to go into that gap. So right here underneath the tube, 
but in the gap of the sponge. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is add the bio starter. Um, from what I've seen, you want to add three capfuls of the jelly bio starter to get your aquarium um, to start it cycling. So I'm just going to add three capfuls of this after we shake it really good. Alright, so now that those, that's been added, we're going to go ahead and close this up. And we're pretty much done. So I'm going to move this back over to where we're going to be keeping the tank. And you can see here is the pump and the LED bulb. The LED bulb just fits into um, a little housing. Very simple uh, to plug that in and make sure it works with your remote. Um, everything can be housed in the, in the base here. So you can see I have the pump in there. And you can see I also have the LED light in there. And we're going to put the aquarium or the tank just right on top. So there's nothing that gets kinked or sits or gets sat on. Um, everything is put together very well here. Uh, it, it feels very high quality putting it all together. So um, just making sure everything is balanced and level, nothing's tipped. And now I'm going to plug in the, uh, the pump. And you'll be able to tell right away when I get that plugged in. So you can see the water movement right there at the top. And now I'm just checking to make sure the LED works, and it does, um, lights it up very well. And again, there's a lot of bubbles in there, but now that there's bubbles in there, I'm actually just going to take the uh, sponge cleaner that was on the stick that I showed you earlier, and just kind of wipe all that away. So I just gently kind of swirl the water to make the bubbles just rise to the top and go away, so they're not sticking to the acrylic, and then the glass, or the acrylic itself, looks much more clear. So we're going to put the lid on, and if you see this logo here on the top, and then we show you the ceiling, it actually throws a nice silhouette um, on your ceiling. I'm sure you can cover that if it gets too bright or it gets annoying, but I like it. I think it adds something to the overall effect. Next thing I'm going to do is add some hermit crabs. I've got two blue-legged hermit crabs. You probably want more than that. You probably want maybe five to eight of these small hermit crabs um, because they're going to start your ammonia. They're going to get the ammonia started in your um, cycling here. So I'm just going to add these two. Uh, you also have the option to add um, ammonia drops, uh, and you can also add like the tail of a shrimp, like quarter of an inch to a half inch of just tail meat from a shrimp um, that you can get at the grocery store and that can start your um, your cycling as well so whichever method you choose um, I believe jellyfish art offers a quick start or a <clears throat> skip the cycle sponge so that sponge has already been cycled it already has all the bacteria um, you know no ammonia um, so everything is ready. So as soon as you get that, you're basically ready to put in your fish. So what I've got here, as you can see, it's much more clear. I've gotten rid of all the bubbles. And I'm going to take my pipette or turkey baster. I'm going to suck up some water here. And we're going to use our hydrometer, which is very easy to use. Some people may tell you, oh, you need to get a refractometer. But this plastic piece that comes with the kit is really all you need. Um, just going to squeeze the water in here. I'm gonna, you're going to need at least two, sometimes three, full um, squeezes from the from the baster here. I was able to get uh, enough water with just two. So you see here, I'm just going to fill this up, and then we're going to come down to the front and take a look. And you can see here that little um, gauge. Make sure there's no bubbles, but that little gauge is pointing. To a section of red on the hydrometer and this is where you want it to be this is your ideal um, 
salinity level for jellyfish. All right, so once you're there, then you're good. And once you're there, then you should just kind of let everything cycle. Now, again, depending on which cycle method you preferred or that you went with, it might be faster, it might be slower before you're ready for your jellyfish. But we'll get to that in the next video.